Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the budgeting in Dynamic 365 Business Central or Dynamic Snap. In Business Central or Dynamic Snap, the budgeting feature uh, is really limited. So Business Central out of box only provide you the GL budgets. What you can do, you can create a GL budgets and then uh, populate your GL accounts, and then you can export it to Excel. And you can fill out all your budget numbers in Excel for the different GL accounts, and then you can import it back to Business Central. So you, uh, that has to be done from this window, which says GL budgets. But the problem is like uh, this only allow you to do the budget at the GL level. If you want to budget just for the employee expenses, then you, you want to do it, do some analysis, and you also want to budget for cost for your cost and the cost budgeting or cash flow budgeting. So those features that does not exist out of box. That's why uh, some clients, they are using third party add-on or extension or an, a third party portal, which can communicate with Dynamic 365 Business Central to do the budgeting. And those um, budgeting process can also have the workflow to trigger and you can control each step of the budgeting process. And then it has, you can collaborate with your, with your colleagues for the budgeting process. So one of the tool you can use is called, um, it's called the uh, jet budgets. And so you can connect your jet budgets. This is provided by the jet global. Uh, then, uh, what you can do, you can, you can see here, who was it designed for? So it was designed for small and medium businesses that use Dynamics 365 Business Central, Dynamics Nav, or Dynamics GP. And uh, it's a red tool for anyone who creates or is involved in the budgeting process and struggles with reconciling and uh, managing uh, desperate and the inconsistent spreadsheets that aren't governed or controlled. And jet budgets enable automated workflow and uh, status visibility to streamline the budgeting process while utilizing the power of JET reports for integrated actual to plan reporting in Excel environment, users already familiar with this. So that's what JET budgets can do and uh, what it's designed for. Okay, but you can see this uh, JET budgets is uh, gonna be deprecated and uh, the support is gonna end on December 31st this year, 2022, right? So because of this, and many clients who's using this uh, JET budget, this is also a third, another uh, web-based solution. So it's another portal. It's not embedded in Business Central. Uh, so it's uh, kind of uh, like a third party. Uh, and, and you have to use another URL in your browser to uh, access it. So a replacement for JET budget, uh, what you can see here is called the base view. So if, uh, this base view is a similar, provide a similar functionalities like, like the JET budgets. And uh, you can use it to plan for your budgets and forecast for the cash flow balance sheet and um, uh, PNL and uh, the sales budgeting. You can budget for your employees as well. So it gives you lots of functionalities for the budgeting. You can almost budget for any aspects of your business and you can use some templates to create a budgeting as well also it uh, enables the workflow so in each budgeting process so you can have uh, several people working on the budget process and then you can have the budget task assigned to different users and control the budgeting process you can see the different stage of the budgeting process, like the initiated, in process, in progress, ready, not approved, and approved. You can see these budgeting processes. And the system, it's uh, compatible to is like you can see for Dynamics Nav, it supports Dynamics Nav 20, 2009 R2. So that's a really early version of Dynamics Nav. And also it support any version earlier than Nav 20, 2009 R2. And also it support uh, the MSNAP 2013 to 2018. And uh, it support Dynamic 365 Business Central as well. So I just need to find where is it. So, but it does support the Business Central. It support the Business Central on-premise and the Business Central SaaS. Uh, so this is the on-premise other integrations. 
And uh, let me see, where is it? But it does support the MX365 Business Central, you can see here. And uh, it supports the MX365 Business Central through the old data services for both on-premise and uh, uh, SaaS. It supports it to connect through the old data service. And uh, you can see for Dynamics Nav, it says ETL. So this means extract, transform, and load. So you always hear these um, terms in Power BI. So I guess they're using some technology from Power BI for the data flow, especially for the data flow in Power BI service is using the ETL as well. It also support other ERP system as well. But uh, for what we need for Dynamics Nav and Business Central, it seems like it support them all. And you can uh, create your budgets. You can also create some report out of the budget. These reports is like the Power BI uh, reviews you can see. You can analyze the different area of your business uh, by comparing your budget to your actual. Also, uh, you can go to the analytics, then you can do the analysis by different. You can set up a different parameters or measures. And you can see these uh, analytics you can this, this analytics is kind of like, if you use Excel, it's kind of a pivot pivot table. It looks like the pivot table, but it's, as the, uh, it's adding the measures. So it has some similarity with JET reports as well. So we talk about the reports. You can create a different uh, budget reports. So let's take a look for one of the report, report package. Uh, let's take a look of the PNL. Okay. So then you can select the... Uh, the period, which is the year and the month, and uh, you can click on from the drop down for which period you want to analyze, and then uh, you can select the version. Uh, like uh, you can have different budget version or focus version. Uh, so let's just select this and the unit. This is the business unit of your company. Let's select New York and the project. Uh, okay, so let's just select. Uh, IT managed service for now and uh, project so you can select different project as well you can your company ha can have different project and you want to set up the budget so break by project okay so then let's take a look so this one doesn't have any results because the data has something okay so uh, maybe let's look at something else to see if there's any other uh, cash flow report take a look of this one okay latest value period okay let's just uh, take a look at this one it still doesn't show okay so this one does show us something okay so it's showing for the period uh, for that period then you see 2020 actually it's 2020 from July to 2021 to uh, June 2021 and you can see all the numbers of your cash flows and for income, goods, and materials, these are similar like Excel look uh, analysis, right? You can see those from your uh, reports, okay? For the inputs, so this is where you can set up the templates. So you can set up the, like, for example, I want to do an employee um, budget. Then you can select the, like, this is the, uh, the area I want to do the analysis. And then let's select this and then take a look of this budget template, okay? So then you can see, for example, you have different employees, then you have the budget monthly cost. You can make a change here. For example, I'm changing it from 20,000 uh, budget monthly cost to 10,000. Then you can see these numbers change as well, right? So you can edit this uh, budget number and uh, your focus will change as well. That's for the inputs. You can have some templates set up and then do the analysis. And also for the on different reports that you can communicate, um, like uh, you can put on your comments and then that comments will be communicated throughout the budgeting process. Then you can see, you can put some comments there on the budget. So we talk about the jobs. Those are the different connectors we can use with different ERP system. And then there are some system set up. So the interface seems to be very easy to use. I do not have a live connection to my Business Central yet because that will require some initial setup and uh, you need to have a live version of this base view. You have to purchase that in order to make it work. And uh, But uh, just the browsing this um, 
uh, demo data from BizView. It seems like it can streamline the budgeting process and it did have many similarities with uh, JET budgets uh, regarding the workflow and uh, collaboration on the uh, budgeting and focus process. Okay, so I hope this video helps if you are looking for a budgeting tool for your Dynamic 365 Business Central or Dynamic Snap, then you can consider this view. Okay, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.